So in this video, I'm going to cover Unit 1, Chapter 1 with Google Docs and Drive, Lesson 1. So when you first log in, you go to Modules here on the left, and I need to start my course. So I'm going to click on, um, this is actually the walkthrough video that you're watching. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the chapter overview, which is right here and shows me that I have seven lessons and two projects to do. Then I click the next button in the lower right. And as we go through here, um, that last page, that's actually where this video is going to be present. So in here it says explain the different uses for Google Drive, upload store access view and organize files using a cloud-based platform and then be able to update search and share files using a cloud-based platform, which would be your Google Drive. And then, you know, collaborating with others using shared documents and files in Google Drive. So your task say read and complete all the content and materials, complete and turn in the lesson assignment, L1, organizing your Google Drive, and then take the quiz. And then here's the standards. So we just click next to go to the next page because this is like a book. And on this page, you would watch the video here up until the 806 mark. And it's going to show you how you can use Google Drive. After you watch that video, just click Next. And here's the actual, again, up here it says Lesson. So in brackets. So this is Managing Files in Google Drive. You can either scroll through the website. This is GCF Learn Free. Or I suggest to make it full screen, if you click this link here, Read Google Drive, Managing Your Files on GCF Learn Free website, and then watch any videos and write, do write down vocab terms and definitions from words you're unfamiliar with, and then scroll all the way down through the website. When you see the word continue, then stop. Do not click it. I think it's better if you just click this link because that way it will open up this lesson page in another uh, browser window and it's just easier to read. So I'm going to go ahead and click the link and as you can see up here it opens up another window. So this is your lesson, managing your files. And it, you need to read through the lesson, watch this short video, it's less than four minutes, it's like three minutes and 30 seconds and it will show you how to organize your files in Google Drive. It's a really not a very long video. And then you're going to scroll through and read through it. You know, how do you search for files? How do you sort files? You need to read through this. And there's all this demonstration of how that you can do that. How do you apply a filter to find a file or a folder? And it'll show you how to find, how to do the filter to search for documents and, and folders. And then how do you organize your files? Okay, you have to create folders. So it shows you here how to create new folders, how to name those folders. And then, um, how do you move files into folders? And this is, you should be organizing your Google Drive just like a file cabinet, where you have folders within that file cabinet, and each folder has a name, and then your files or your documents are in each of those folders. It just makes it more organized and easier to find your documents. Um, better than having a big giant stack of papers. And then, um, you know, that you don't know how those are organized. How you delete a file. This will show you how you delete it. And where does it go? It goes in the trash can. And then how do you preview a file? So here's the directions how you preview one. What does right clicking on a file do for you? Or right clicking on a folder? And then we're going to do a practice project. So this is actually, this challenge here is what we're actually going to do for your assignment. Okay? So when you see the word continue, do not click it. Just close the, um, close the window or go back to Canvas and then scroll down and click Next and go to the assignment. And the assignment is called Organizing Your Google Drive. Now I'll get you started with this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click Organize Your Google Drive. These are the directions. Follow the steps on these directions. And you're going to be taking a screenshot of your Google Drive organization to show that you organized it. And then you're going to submit that screenshot. So you're going to click Organize Your Google Drive. And as you can see here, now that opens up a tab. You're going to go ahead and make a copy of the directions so that you can have your own copy. And you're going to follow these directions. 
So it says open your Google Drive. I'm going to close this tab here. But if you want to go back to this lesson, then you might want to leave that tab open. So it says open your Google Drive. Well, I'm going to open another tab at the top here. I'm going to click on the three on the nine, uh, the nine, we call this the app launcher. And I'm going to go ahead and just click drive. Okay. So that gets me to my drive. So I'm going to follow these directions. I'm just clicking on different tabs, canvas, directions. There's my drive. I'm going to move this lesson over here so it's out of the way. But if I need to go to that lesson, it's right there on that tab. So it's open your drive, identify two really important folders you can't throw away. If you don't have two really important folders, then you can create two new ones and call them important folder one and important folder two. So you're going to go through and you're going to follow these directions. And if I was to do that, it would say new folder. And then I would just call that important folder. And I already think I already named one important number one. So I'm going to call this number three. Okay, but you guys would call it number one or number two, or you would give it a name. Okay, so maybe you want to maybe you want a folder for your biology class. So you put biology uh, 21-22. All right, because that's going to be an important folder. Or, and then maybe I want a new folder here. This for my Spanish class. Come on, new. It's taking a minute. There we go. So maybe I'm speaking Spanish. All right. So I've created a biology and a Spanish folder that I want to keep um, my files for those classes in. So you don't have to do important folder number one and important folder number two. If you want to create something that makes sense to you that you're actually going to use, then I would, I would like I showed you how to make a biology and a Spanish one. Then it says go back and find these folders and add them to starred, change the color. Okay, so that's pretty easy to do. Because here's my biology and my Spanish. So it says right click and make that starred. And right click and make this one starred. So those are the two I made. And then I'm going to right click and change their color. Maybe I want that one to be orange. Oh, maybe I don't because the one above it looks orange. So let's go change my color to a different color, green. And then my Spanish, maybe I want to change the color to a purple. Okay. The reason you put the star there is because over here on the left hand side where it says starred, anything that I have a star against, it's going to show up when I click starred. So all these other ones that aren't, don't have a star, if I click starred, then all those folders that are starred, they show up. Okay. So I can see my biology folders right here. And then my Spanish folder is right here. All right. So that's, that's why starred is kind of nice. Um, Okay, so then I did those directions and just go through and read the directions. All right, and then start putting files in those folders and organize your drive. So you can see how in my drive, if I go back to here, as I scroll down the bottom, all of these files, see these are folders. All of these files below here don't have a home. They need a place that they should be. Having them not in a folder can make it very difficult for me to find documents that are related to the same topic or to the same class. So, for example, I probably should put this in an AP folder because there's two AP things right here or three actually right here. So if I created an AP folder, then I would want to put these into that folder rather than them being out here without a folder. As you can see, I have a lot of documents that don't have a place to be and to be organized. So I need to organize my drive. And that's all we're asking you to do is to move some, fi some files and um, into that, into the folders that you just created. So to move that, I could actually click on something here. And if it says, uh, here, I'm just going to choose this one. I would right click on it, click move to, and I could actually go to my drive or I could do to my starred because that would be quicker. Starred and then go find that. Let's say it's biology and there's my biology. I just click on it and say move. Now that file is going to be located now in my biology folder. Okay, that I created. And 
there it is. I just moved my Disneyland report over there. Okay. So you need to organize at least two folders and put files in those folders. Then all you have to do is as you follow this, these directions, and it talks about how you move them, which is just what I showed you right here. And then you just need to take a screenshot of your folder, of your, of your folders and submit those into Canvas. So once you take that screenshot, you just have to go look how to take a screenshot on a Chromebook, just Google it, or on Windows, or on a Mac. And like for example, I'm going to use the snipping tool because I'm on a Windows machine. And I'm just going to pretend that this is my, I'm taking a picture of that. And then I'm just going to save that. And um, I'm going to give it a name that says um, my drive assignment. Okay. And I'm going to put that to the desktop for fun here. Okay. Just make sure you know where you're storing it. If you're using a Chromebook, it's going to go straight to your Google Drive. If you're using a Mac or a PC or a Windows machine, it's going to, you've got to notice where it goes. So I come back to my assignment, I click start assignment, and because it's a, because it's a, uh, something I store on my desktop, then I need to choose file upload. If it's something, if you're on a Chromebook, then you would choose Google Drive and go to your Google Drive and find that. And you would type, you could search right here and find it. But this is actually on my desktop, so I'm going to go file upload and I'm going to go find it because I put it on my desktop and there it is. My drive assignment PNG is a picture or an image screenshot open and then I would click submit assignment. If I want to add other files I can click this button and do that. But again if you are using a Chromebook then you do want to go to your Google Drive and go find that file because that's where they're stored. On a Windows or PC more than likely you downloaded it to the desktop or your documents. So when you're done, you just click Submit Assignment, and that is it for that one. Okay, so at the end of Lesson 1, there's a quiz here that you need to take. It's nine questions, and you get to take it twice, and we take the highest of the score. So that's it for Lesson number 1.